Hey guys, you know I love making meditation videos. I'm going to show you how I create my meditation videos using CapCut today. So it's not as difficult as it looks and I really wanna see a lot more meditation videos all over YouTube. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So come back in a moment and let's talk about it. So let's get started. This is how you would make a video using CapCut dedicated to meditating. So I'm going to start over. I'm going to click create new video. And this is of course after you sign in to CapCut and everything. You're going to go as soon as it loads. So if you click, click to upload, it should take you to all of your documents. And you'd go in and you find something that you want to make into a video. So I have some screen recordings that I did. Let's go into pictures. And this screen recording is what I'm going to upload. Because what I do is um, record my voice on my phone and I upload that to my iPad or my laptop so that I can use it here on CapCut for the larger screen. So it's here, it's uploaded. And as you can see, it is my screensaver. So what I'm going to do once it's done is I'm going to separate the audio. So what the way you do that is you right click and you click the last button which is separate audio and I'm going to delete that picture because I don't want that in the video. It's not what I want, right? So this is the recording of me talking. It's like a little intro. It's a recording. I don't know why it's not playing but it is a recording of me talking. Okay, so it's just the sound. And I go into stock videos and I'd find something really pretty that just looks relaxing and beautiful. Love this one. This is the ocean. So I'm going to add that in there as a video clip. In last week's video, I talked about how it's important to make the sound on the original video mute so you just tap that okay and as you see the screen recording which is the sound and the video itself do not match in length so what can we do we're going to copy and paste this right here when they overlap they do that <laughs> so you want them to be side by side and this is muted as it says okay now say for example i listen to this and part of part of it is an intro of me just saying hey welcome to the meditation the second part may be me actually saying affirmations well that would mean that i'd like to cut this so i'm going to do that i'm going to cut this audio just as i would if i can cut the video as i did last week so i'm going to cut that and i would copy it and paste it here so that the affirmations are said over and over and over for as long as I want them to be said because I am not going to sit myself and say the affirmations again and again for 30 minutes you can if you like I think that's powerful if that's the way you want to do it but to make it a lot easier you can just cut out the affirmation section copy it and paste it several times and that's how you get in the video and the same thing for the visuals so we're gonna click Copy. And we're going to paste and paste. Oops. And we're just going to move them down so that they're side by side in the original here, and then same here. And then that is how you have a continuous video. 
If you have a special end clip that you'd like to use, you put it at the end here. Um, you can move the audio around as much as you like so that at the end you can have an outro that you record separately. I like doing that because sometimes I like to use the same outro again and again. If you want to change the video, you simply pick one and lay it down. Always make sure that your audio and visual are matching up um, because you don't want your meditation to be silent at one part. That unless it, If that's what you're going for, that's completely fine. But if you want to make sure that it's continuous with the audio and the visual, you'd have them lining up together here. So this one was really pretty. I wanted to add it in. It's just a waterfall. Um, I'm not going to play it because it won't make much sense. But this is how you would go about creating a meditation video using CapCut. So that is how you use CapCut to edit your meditation videos or any videos that have like a voiceover component to it. I like to record my voice, as you notice, on the iPad. Um, sometimes you can record them on your phone. There are so many different ways to do it, but you can use CapCut in different ways using audio in order to loop it so that you can have a beautiful meditation video or prayer video, affirmations, whatever you wanna do. I don't know what you're going to do today, but I hope it's something that brings you joy, and I will see you later. Bye!